Now to a pandemic craze that could actually be the medicine Mother Nature needs. People are so pumped right now to purchase solar panels. One company calls it insane. In tonight's Eye on Earth series, CBS 13's Marley Ginter shows us what's behind the solar panel passion. One by one, each solar panel off the truck <laughs> and onto the roof, ready to turn sunlight into electricity. So we've got both sides of the house and the back. Rachel Romine made the investment after seeing she was paying hundreds more in utility bills with everyone home during the pandemic. With all of the kids on their devices and then everybody home, you know, and then summertime to boot. And I'm also back in school myself, so they, we had a lot of devices going. She's not the only one suddenly on board. A recent report from the Solar Energy Industries Association and Wood McKenzie shows installations jumped 43% in 2020, reaching a record 19.2 gigawatts of new capacity. Solar Energy Partners in Turlock added 500 sales reps and expanded into five other states. Uh, Nevada now, we're getting an office in Vegas. Um, so really just totally kind of picking up, running with it. Why is this happening? It's a really good question. Most people don't know, but 60 to 70% of your bill can be made up of just a few appliances. Appliances we're using more working from home. Phil Horton, president of Mr. Sunshine Solar, tells me he gets roughly 120 calls a day now. Business jumped 60 plus percent over the last year. He pins it on more than just the pandemic. And seeing the inconsistencies of the utilities, of the power, of the grid themselves, and wanting to have a little bit more independence um, from our customers is they wanted to be self-reliant. So we're Bill, doing the right thing for the environment. We decided to go ahead and go for it. California is among the top states with solar additions for the second year in a row. Solar could also get a boost from President Biden's infrastructure proposal that includes a 10-year extension of wind, solar, and battery tax credits, which are set to be phased out.